Hi everyone, welcome to our next topic. Our next topic, topic number three, is all about continuity. So first, we reviewed about functions, then last topic, we discussed about limits, and now we're talking about continuity. So what is continuity? So in layman's term, kung unsa ang ilang pagsabot and in continuity, is it, it is a continuous process, no? A continuous process is something that proceeds smoothly without breaks or interruption. So consequently, for a function y is equal to f of x, to be called continuous, we would expect that its graph to be smooth, to be a smooth line without breaks or interruptions. So based on that definition, we define continuity. Meaning, wala siya, wala siya, nag-stop, no? Bali, an ending without breaks and interruptions. So let's look at some graphs. We would definitely not call continuous the best way to define a day. No, tanaw na to, pag muta na to sa graph, no? Unsa man ato mabantayan kasagara is the opposite of the definition bayan na no pag moingon ta og ipa-define ta sa day we think about night no it's the opposite of night tapos pag ipa-define ta og happy no murag butan apud ta sa iyang opposite na meaning which is sad so those are some concepts para mas madali nato og understand ang meaning ni continuity so, mutan out as a graph, then we are going to, uh, to see and describe it. Kung dili siya continuous, meaning discontinuous siya or wala siya ay continuity. Okay? So, pag tanaw na to, ay dili na siya continuous na function or kana siya nga graph, dili siya continuous. So, let us check these sample graphs para mailhan na to siya na dili siya continuous na function. So here is the graph. So for example, this one, no, it shows that ang kini siya nga function bali jumps at every integer, no? Ga break siya din he pagbasakan niya from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 3. So meaning it is not continuous. So here is another graph, a function of f of x with x for 0 lesser than or equal to x lesser than 3. Tapos 1.5 plus the quantity of x minus 3 squared for 3 lesser than or equal to x. So kung ato na siyang i-graph, na siya i-hold the rate, tapos, si, tapos na din na naka-discontinue the rate ngalay, no? from this point to this point. So, it breaks again at 3. So, na ay break. So, non-continuous siya. Or, dili na to siya matawag na continuous na function. So, this one, another graph showing na nag-break ang kung ato ni siyang i-graph na agyapoy discontinuity. Okay? So, a whole at Two. So next example, ingon ani nga graph, no? A pilpod trigonometric nga graph. Ang gingon nato kaganina, smoothly um ang kwandaw no, smoothly non interruption, no? No breaks. So kini smoothly bang tawag ani? Dili, no? Dili siya smoothly kay na ay mga ingon ani nga pagka-graph, no? So later, we are going to discuss kung unsa ni siya klase nga, klase nga graph. So kung ato ning i-graph no, f of x is equal to 0 when x is lesser than or equal to 0 and sine pi over x when x is greater than 0. So let's talk about not smooth, no, a little better. So we are going to have another na representation sa so, f of x is equal to 1 over x, which x is not equal to 0. So, ingon ane siya nga, 
Now graph, it is, it shows na, not smooth na graph, no? So later, ato na ikaw, what do these pictures, katong mga previous na to nga pictures nga gipakita, is all about, no? Mauto siya ang opposite sa definition sa continuity. Bali, dapat dilingon na ito ang ato ang graph para matawag na ito siya nga continuous na function. So there should be, kung, makata, kung ang isa ka function, matawag na ito siya nga continuous, kung number one, no holes, walay bangag, pareha add itong kaganina, kini, no? wala siya bangag, tapos no jumps, walay naglaktod-laktod, walay abrupt nga turning sa curve, and no uncertainties. So pareha ani, there is no uncertainty. Dili na to siya. Ay bali, wala siya. Dili na to siya ma, ma di na to siya ma-predict kung asa siya pa dulong, no? So next, to a mathematician, this means that kung ato itong i-convert ng mga statements kaganina, based add to nga mga properties, so for no holes, no, dapat ato ning ma atin nga condition. So the limit or the left hand limit of f of x as x approaches to a no, is equal to the right hand limit of f of x as x approaches to a which is equal to f of a. Okay? Para atong ma justify nga no holes. Tapos for no jumps, dapat the limit or the left hand limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to the right hand limit of f of x as x approaches to a. So, no jumps. And for no uncertainties, dapat f of a exists. No? Dili siya DNA or katong does not exist, which we discussed briefly last meeting about atong sa limits. So, therefore, a function f is continuous at the point a, then is a point a, at x is equal to a in the following, if the following are true. So, ay harata makaingon na continuous if f of a is defined. Next is, if the limit of f of x as x approaches to a exists and the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to f of a. Okay? So these three are condensed in the following no? equation. So mao ni ato ang gi describe last topic but we used L here instead nga f of a. So dumduma na to same ra ni thought last meeting when we discussed about limits but instead of using L we used f of a. Since ang atong operation when we are solving limits is atong i-substitute ang value din hi where x approaches, di ba? Kini siya. We are substituting the value of that sa din hi, no? Okay? So, the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to f of a. So continuity at x is equal to a. So with the, uh, with the definition, the function y is equal to f of x is said to be continuous at x is equal to a if the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to f of a. So all three previous conditions, katong no holes, no jumps, and no uncertainties are assured by this statement. So number one, so na tay to look with ka properties anino. So number one is for the um, ra rational na polynomials, no? If f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials, and q sub a q of a is not equal to zero. So then. The limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to f of a. So we get that every rational function is continuous at every point where it is defined. And so for the next nano property, the limit 
of the function f of x, a square root of f of x, no? As x approaches to a, is equal to moaning sa rational na function na property. So, which gives us that radical of function of continuous functions are continuous when the function, wait lang. When the point is defined. So next. For number three, it is applicable for trigonometric na functions, no? The limit of sine x as x approaches to a is equal to sine a. So, i-substitute lang nato ang value sa nga gina-approach ni x. So, we get that all trigonometric functions are continuous wherever they are defined. So, dapat defined lang yun siya. They are, ano siya, wait lang ha. So the third one tells about the properties of trigonometric na functions. No? So finally, if f and g are continuous at x is equal to a, then so are f plus g, cf, f, f with g, and f, of, f, I, f times g, tapos f over g if g of a is not equal to zero. So, mo ni, properties lang ni siya katong addition, multiplication, tapos constant rule and division na mga rules of a function. So, katong kaganina na nagstorya ta no, na dapat dili siya katong DNA, katong does not exist. So, here are some examples where limit does not exist. Okay? Number one is katong kaganina na, na discuss na to, tong discontinuity. Katong na ay kanang bali na ay wala na include no ana nga function bali kung na siya gihatang nga range tapos wala siya na include di ba pag matagtag lesser than or equal to or kanang lesser than or greater than nga equation gani meaning ana di ba na siya whole ana so discontinuous na na siya nga function next is blow up tapos next oscillation mo ni ang mga example sa mga functions or limits na DNA katong does not exist. So, next is the squeezing theorem. The squeeze theorem states that if f of x is lesser than or equal to g of x, which is lesser than or equal to h of x, when x is near, except possibly at a, of course, not touching a, then, and the limit of f of x is equal to as as x approaches to a is equal to the limit of h of x, as x approaches to a is equal to l, then, so property ni siya class, no? Then the limit of g of x as x approaches to a is equal to l. Meaning, kung equal ni si function ni f of x tapos ni h of x as x approaches to a, so equal sila nga, um, function, uh, equal ilang limits which is equal to l, then, the third one, or kini daw nasa yang to nga, nga function, is also equal to L. So the squeeze theorem, mao ni siya ang squeeze theorem. No? Natunga lang, no? kung equal daw ni siya, o kini, no, pareha daw sila o um, limit. So equal po daw kini limit ni G of X kini nasa tunga. So this is the squeeze theorem, which is sometimes called the sandwich or the pinching theorem. Okay, so mailan man mo kay kato may ilang graph katong nakaana bitaw squeeze. So this is a, an example no, an illustration of the squeeze theorem. So the theorem states that the g of x kini down function ni g of x is squeezed between h f of x and h of x. 
So they are near A and if a, F and H have the same limit L at A, then G is forced to have the same limit L is equal to A. So na siya sa tunga since we are um, following this theorem. No? So example sa squeezing theorem ay nga ni iyang graph class, no? Na siya ay muna siya na ipit, no? Na siya siya sa tunga. So if mama ni ato ang Statement sa atong theorem kaganina, f of x lesser than or equal to g of x lesser than or equal to h of x when x is near a or approaching to a and if katong statement nila no katong earlier. So, for example, let's show that the limit of x squared sine pi over x as x approaches to zero is equal to zero. So, we cannot use the product rule since x no, so since pi over x would become DNA or does not exist. So, ang atong buha to, magbuha tao, range. No, palera ni siya atong ibuha na to sa, we're going to apply the epsilon delta na property. So, and we use, magamit ta, murag ingunan na siya no, epsilon delta to ang gamitun na katong, di ba, nabuha tao katong murag range. Pero, Atong term na ani is squeezing theorem. So, but kung magamit na sa squeezing theorem na negative 1 lesser than or equal to sine pi over x lesser than or equal to 1. So, ato da yung a, i-substitute din atong value ni x. So, we have negative x squared lesser than or equal to x squared sine pi over x lesser than or equal to x squared. And since the limit of x squared as x approaches to 0 is equal to the limit of negative x squared as x approaches to 0, equal sila o 0. So we use the squeeze theorem to conclude that the limit of x squared sine pi over x as x approaches to 0 is equal to 0. Okay? So mo na siya no? So, same lagi po na yung isa ka-example, magamit niya po ta sa, sa squeezing theorem or squeeze theorem. Parera na sa example ka ganina, katong magbata o ganing range. So, let's show that the limit as x approaches to 0 is equal to x squared. Ay, sorry, wala na siya equal sign class. Wala na siya equal sign. Okay, so let's proceed that we cannot use the product rule na katong kung ato ni siyang bulagon bali si limit x squared times limit sine over one sine one over x since sine one over x does not exist. 
So we we, we are going to use the squeeze theorem. Ano mag mag trial and error lang yapon ta. Let's try negative one lesser than or equal to sine one over x lesser than or equal to one, and then we substitute the value of x. No, so we have negative x squared lesser than or equal to. So mura na tag nag multiply bali og negative x ah bali x squared both sides ani sa sa tanan bali sa f of x g of x o h of x. So negative one times x squared. So we have negative x squared. Tapos sine one over x times x squared. So we have x squared sine one over x. Next one times x squared. Tap so equal to x squared. So it can be illustrated. It is shown in the figure. So then we know that the limit of x squared as x approaches to zero is zero since zero squared is zero. Then the limit of negative x squared as x approaches to zero is also equal to zero. And taking f of x is equal to negative x squared, then g of x katotong dimension kaganina x squared sine one over x and h of x is equal to x squared. Then in the squeeze theorem, then we obtain that the limit as x approaches to zero of x squared sine one over x is equal to zero. So ato ato siyang iprove no using the squeeze theorem. Okay. So examples no more examples about continuous continuous or non continuous or naik and discontinuity na mga functions. So at which values of x is the given function discontinuous? So number one, f of x is equal to x plus two. So atong itry ang solve, no? The limit of x plus two as x approaches to a is equal to a plus two. Therefore, it is continuous at continuous everywhere. And so the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to f of a. So atong na na um. Bali atong na apply or atong na check using the properties of continuous functions. Katong dapat no holes, no interruptions, no uncertainties. Okay. So for number two, g of x is equal to x squared minus nine over x plus three. So kung na ay kung ang value ni x kay negative three, meaning dili na siya continuous ang mga point. So therefore, continuous at everywhere except at x is equal to negative three, since g of negative three is undefined. Okay, then yung a point undefined siya. So third example, h of x is equal to x plus two if x is greater than one and one if x is lesser than or equal to one. Then it try na to prove no using atong mga conditions kaganina so dapat na ba yah equal yung left side of right a left hand or right hand na limit so itrain nato solve yung left hand na limit so the limit of h of x as x as x is equal to to one sa left hand limit so is lesser than or equal to one kaya one man tapos the limit of h of x as x approaches to one right hand limit it is equal to 3 since kung 1 plus 2 is 3. So thus, h is not continuous at x is equal to 1. h is continuous every, everywhere else. Okay? So for number 4, f of x is equal to negative 1 if x is lesser than or equal to 0 and 1 if x is greater than 0. So itry niya po na ito itong right hand o left hand limit. Dapat equal sila, no? Pero pag-check na to, when x is approaching to 0, right hand limit, it is equal to 1. Tapos ko left hand limit is equal to negative 1. Therefore, f is not continuous at x is equal to 0. And f is continuous everywhere else. So natay nalimtan by the way last meeting na to, natay properties of infinite limits na summary, no? You can use this for 
the infinite limits. So let C and L be real numbers and F and G be functions such that the limit of F of X as X approaches to C is equal to positive infinity and the limit of G of X as X approaches to C is equal to L or limit or the limit value. So kung mag-add daw ta or mag-minus, ang answer ana is positive infinity. So nga naman, since kung mag-add ta or mag-minus o infinity or infinite na value sa isa ka number, syempre murag ma-overlap ra to niyang isa ka number, di ba? Murag syempre madugang lang atong infinity. Since infinite, we don't know the value of that infinity, no? Wata ka ba lukon? Sorry na siya kadako nga value. So therefore, kung mag-add ta or mag-subtract o infinity, the answer is infinity. Then the limit of kung mag-multiply sa ta o infinity times a value, ang answer gaya po na na infinity. Okay? So kung kung L is greater than 0, pero kung lesser than 0, negative infinity. And kung quotient, G of X, for example, L, L is a number logar, for example, 10 divided by infinity. Meaning, ana, it is approaching to zero. Since dako mang kayo ang atong gidivide sa usa ka numeric nga number bali. For example, one over one million, di ba ang answer at zero point zero 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 one. So therefore, it is approaching to zero. So the answer of that one is zero. Kung magdivide ta o infinite, infinite nga number. Okay, so that's all for our topic about continuity. Tapos na, napod tayo third assignment for this topic. And next week, we are going to have our first quiz. Thank you.